This series of videos demonstrates the step-by-step -step exercises which are included in each Parabuild installation, including the free trial version. In this exercise, we'll look at drawing a truss based on a model line, then connecting it to the columns and copying it together with all of its component connections. Click on the truss icon and from the selection window double click on truss oblique. Then select the model line that's located between the two columns and press enter to end the command. This is the simplest method for drawing a truss but as the truss has no knowledge of the columns it's drawn to their axes and is therefore not connected. So now we'll look at connecting it to the columns. First close the edit dialog and we'll return to this a bit later. From the truss menu click on the icon truss haunch connection and following the command line prompts select the column then select the lower cord of the truss then select the upper cord. From the selection window double click the connection truss end plate and press enter to end the command. From the edit dialog Activate the Bolts tab and change the number of horizontal bolts at four places to read one. Then click on the Propagate button at the bottom of the macro dialog to copy the connection to the other end. Then close the window. You'll see that the first and last struts are interfering with the column. So we'll fix this by adding two cuts. Click on the Add Cut to Macro icon and in the new cut in macro window make sure that the cut perpendicular setting is set to not perpendicular then close the window following the command line prompts select the profile you want to cut in this case the interfering strut then select the end plate and a cut will be made using the add cut to macro command repeat the operation to place the cut at the other end of the truss. And then as a check, click on the clash check icon to check the drawing for collisions. Zoom into the end connections and you'll see that one of the bolts interferes with the strut. We can fix this by moving the bolt or, as we'll demonstrate here, by changing the start and end offset of the first and last struts. So, Double click the large macrosphere of the truss to open the edit dialog and modify the start and end offsets of the array to read minus 70. Then close the window and you'll see that the clash has been removed. There are other exercises with each Parabuild installation and if you'd like to try these yourself there's a free Parabuild trial available on our website.